Day to viewers, the Colonel speaking to you live from the Grange British Imperial YouTube Broadcasting. Now, my uh, Dublon Tondra meter has just gone off again. Yes. The winner, 3494. Have you ever seen a Winkle Wink? Sung by Fred Gibson. Oh dear. Right, here we go. You'll be praying that I'll be bringing the uh, dry orgle records back, I can tell you. Some feet are wrongly named. For instance, take the mackerel. Well, someone must be blamed for naming him a mackerel. Fish knowledge they must lack. A mackerel's not a Scotch fish, so why start his name with Mac? And then there's the fresh herring, for it's always up to me. We still call them fresh herrings when they're stale as stale can be. But while we're on these stupid names, there's one we cannot miss. And that's the little winkle, for I'd like to ask you this. Now, have you ever seen a winkle wink? Then why do you call him a winkle? It's all wrong and quite infradig. You might as well call a porcupine a pig. Call a winkle whatever you think. But let him be a curly name and cut out the wink. For have you ever seen a winkle wink? Why do you call him a winkle? I have studied winkles and I'll tell you to begin. He seldom gets the needle, though we often get the pin. He doesn't argue with you till he's reached a certain age. And though his home's the raging sea, he's never in a rage. For unlike other shellfish, he will never fight his chums. He's never in hot water till his day of boiling comes. A winkle's most retiring, but as you know very well, unless he's coped with pins, he never comes out of his shell. Well, have you ever seen a winkle wink? Then why do you call him a winkle? It's all wrong and quite in for You might as well call a porcupine a pig. Call a winkle whatever you think. But let it be a curly name and cut out the wink. For have you ever seen a winkle wink? No. Then why do you call him a winkle? So, even more weird than I thought. A um, bit of lingua latina there, viewers. How peculiar. Thank you, viewers, and goodbye.